All right, uh, welcome back. Well, next we'll focus on this scenario in Obafemi Awolowo University in Ife about the school fees. We're joined now by Ibikunle Isaac, who is the president of the OAU Student Union. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you, sir. Give us a background. What is going on? Actually, in Ife now, everything is boiling, I must tell you. Now, um, for like two weeks now, the school fee was increased. It started with um, postgraduate students, then the fresh students. Even our own, the undergraduate too, our own fees too has been increased, but it's still, it's still in the offing. What's the rate of the increase? Um, about 320% increment. From what to what? From like 17,000 to about 100,000 there. For fresh students? Fresh students, apart from- or returning 20, students? Fresh students, apart from 20,000 acceptance fee, then some other charges. What about returning students? They've not exposed that for now. Wait, returning students, no increment on their part? There is increment, but they've not announced that. Okay, they so haven't. what the students are protesting is the increase in fees for fresh students. And postgraduate students. And postgraduate. Yes, so sir. fresh students will be those who will be joining. Yeah, soon. Okay, uh, so why the protest? Yeah, so um, um, in IFE, we know uh, the last hope for, for the masses. For the children of the masses is IFE or Bafem Aula University. Just like many of us that we got admission into the university. Just because of that um, fee, that's why we, we still have opportunity to come into university education. Or like in some other schools that we have astronomical fee payments. In OE it's different. We have the education because you know what? Uh, in this country now, what we are having now is just some people commercializing education. And we have this fund in OA. There is no justification for it. I don't know if you are aware of all the, all the sources of fund that this university usually have for now. In OA, we have a lot of, for just like three years ago, our acceptance fee was increased from 2,000 to 20,000 Naira. How much do you pay now? Now, 20,000 Naira acceptance fee okay. for fresh students. What is the grouse? Is the protest, are you saying that there should be no increase whatsoever. For now, no increment. If there is going to be any increment, let the students, you know, the just student representative come on board. Let's see the books of the management itself. How about about billions of naira that we do have every year? How do we spend it? Tell, tell us about the sources yeah. of funding. I mean, you talked about the many streams of income for yeah. the university authorities. How, how do were you privy to that, and what do you know about them? Okay, thank you very much. I will list them. One, we are talking about acceptance fee, 2,000 to 20,000 acceptance fee for the past three years, nothing to show for it. Our light is still, is still epileptic, our water is still bad, nothing to show for it. That is running into millions. About 6,000 naira for on every, every jam writes, every, every jam writing student on campus. And we're having about 50,000 students every year. The university yeah. gets a fee. For well, every student that comes to write jam within university quarters. Yes, yes. So for exam, then for So 6,000, uh, 50,000 students, students, you estimate. Yeah, we have like about 300 million now, now. roughly. Roughly, every year, every year. So, we have, we have, we have, we have um, water, I mean, pure water factory. We have bread making factory on campus. Mm -hmm. They're generating fund from this. Mm -hmm. We have, we have uh, a lot of project from, we have a lot of grant. Just some months back, eight million dollars was a mark for OAU from World Bank. Have what they received the it? For? Yes, I they've know. received it. What eight million dollars. What, what was it for? Because usually, when the World Bank gives mm -hmm. grants, they're usually for specific projects. Yeah, for for facilities on campus and on OAU campus, we have a lot of alumni. I give you, know, you know, you know, yeah. Your, your school. Uh, I'm looking at uh, the release from your school. By the way, your vice chancellor should have been okay, here, uh, but I think uh, he had uh, has an urgent meeting in Abuja, so he couldn't make it here. And you're looking at uh, the justification, and they say, well, the cost of education has risen. The overhead cost of allocation and subvention received from the federal government has dwindled by over 50% compared to what the university received five years ago. And I'm sure you must have seen this other one sent to you, looking at comparison uh, between or amongst other schools and yours. You look at the matriculation, you are 8,500, you know, like 1,000. 
uh, Futa 1000, Uniben 3005. Now let's go to your school. Your school that is uh, OAU, currently 1000 Naira and it's just been moved to 4,000 Naira. So they get breakdown at the end of it all. It'll still seem as if your school still uh, has a, a considerable, uh, well, increase uh, or increment in fees and uh, other tuition levies here. Okay, sir. For instance, if you look at Unilag, the eyes they are paying is about 35,000 Naira. Oh, we're, we're talking about fees? Yes, fees. Okay. I'm talking about the proposal for the increments. Now we know you're having about 120,000 Naira. You see the school that gave you that? Yeah, that is a proposal they brought to the Senate. And sir, the member of the Senate, the lecturers, have issued a statement against the increments. They have the statement. They constitute the Senate that approved this fund. So we don't know what transpired in the Senate that approved the fund itself. Were you part of the meeting? No, sir. But this is also statement on the increment, that the increment is unjustifiable. So the, the students were not aware of you were not aware before this increment was not at all, not at all. No communication whatsoever. No communication whatsoever. Even when you just came on board, no, do you know what was prescribed before? Just because of increment in fee. Three years ago. Now the unit is coming back again. You are bringing increment again. Is it that you want to prescribe the unit again? Because you know it can never stand, you know it. It can't. So are you saying that, you know, school fees will be stagnant forever in OEU? Is that what we're saying? What we're saying is, that's not what we're saying. What we're saying is, if there's going to be any increments, we must be involved. We must know how much we are spending, how much we need. For instance now, for instance, these bogus figures cannot be sustained. We are talking about, we are talking about issue of caution fees. They said it's refundable. And we as the union, we're telling them, that in OAU we don't damage property. That if I thought we damage a student damage a property, damages a property, we are ready to sign undertaking. Five thousand, if that five thousand is removed from the money, I think it'd be a kind of relief. But somebody just wants to fix it in one account and receiving returns. That's what we believe. Are you suggesting that the school authorities submit their books to the incident union you know, for vetting before this increment is done, if at all it will be done? No, they should make it open. Let's know how much we want. The money we have on ground, how we've spent it, every cover. We are not saying we cannot increase, but let's see how much we need on campus. You know, we have money. You know, you know your school has actually won uh, uh, the best uh, in the country three consecutive times, and uh, you see that uh, maybe this could be a, an effort to sustain uh, that position. And uh, looking at uh, what you have there, I realize that for ICT training, uh, for all the institutions here, yeah, none is being charged, but your school is uh, being asked to pay a proposed uh, uh, amount of 5,000 Naira. Isn't this because they want you to be the best, to continue being the best? Uh, did you, at any point in time, with, meet with um, Dr. Aborishade, who is the ASU chairman of your school? Come again, please. Have you met with the ASU leadership in your school yes sir so what was the outcome of the meeting yeah um they're against the increment that's where they use your statements even they call the congress of all the lecturers comprising of all the professors who are members of the senate then who is making the increment if uh, the uh, academic staff were not yeah. part of this uh, whole increase you know actually probably what happened what transpired the senate meeting was just some people coming on board, some professors coming on board who are in tune with the management to say this. The well, also increments. members of ASU, I guess. You said? Well, also members, members of ASU. Members of ASU. When a Congress of ASU is against a position, that means. But ASU is not the lawmaking body in the school, are they? Mm -hmm. Are they? It's, I thought it's the Senate. But they are, they, are, they, they are part of the stakeholders on campus, just like NASU. NASU too has issued a statement. What did they say? They're also against, against the increments. Okay.